Gentlemen, we're back with more ZZZ, and what I believe is the final part of Chapter 3. Wise, you're back. Corn just sent me a message of Tori Housekeeping is ready to go. Clashing with those rebels is unavoidable. Once we enter Ballet Twins... Well, duh. Clashing with those rebels is unavoidable once we enter Ballet Twins, so we best be on our toes. Looks like the final battle is upon us. That's right, it's time to go rescue Rain. Yeah, I had the same feeling. Looks like we'll have to figure things out as we go. Anyway, let's think about what we need to prepare as well. All set. Doesn't matter. Let's go. All right, let's connect to the HDD system and meet up with Lycow and the others inside the hollow. We must rescue Rain. Story commission now available. Investigation. Saving hacker Rain. Let's fucking do this, people. Story commission. Let's go. Oh, she's pinching her tail. I was like, what the fuck is that? Okay. Good shit. Oh, the music. Master Proxy, Rena and I have been monitoring several of the building's exits. The rebels are still on guard and show no signs of leaving. Yep, I had a feeling. Looks like they haven't completed their mission. Looks like they still need the rooftop. Looks like they still need to use the rooftop to complete their mission. Indeed. With the perimeter guards now out of contact, they've undoubtedly heightened their defenses. I'm afraid this operation is likely to involve a direct confrontation. We'll need to break through the enemy's defenses as quickly as possible to save Miss Rain. Mm-hmm. We're counting on you to help save Rain. Master, I have good news. I have finished decoding the building's hollow data and can now detect heat signals in real time. Ooh! I've been waiting to hear you say that, Fairy. Well done. Protect the proxy, everyone. Let's move out. Oh, it feels good. If it's only one mission, I have a feeling this episode's not going to be that long. Master, I have located the nearest biothermal signal. Guard! They might know something about rain. They might, Bell. Bring me the infrared. Destroy the red ones. Whatever the hell they are. I don't know what they are. How's this? Master, I have found a torn newspaper on the ground. In many of your favorite video games, using items is a common way of collecting secret clues. Mm. An exclusive performance from the genius N Neta, Needy, Notuhe sisters inside the ballet twins. The lights, the sounds, the grand stage, an utterly unique viewing experience. There's a tiny line stashed away in a barely noticeable corner of the pamphlet. In the event of any emergency during the performance, the ballet twins will ensure your personal safety to the greatest extent possible. Mm, will they, though? There are quite oh. a Don't worry. Use night vision mode or the light to dispel them. Prepare to be dispelled. There's a lot of stuff over here, holy shit. What in the Sonic just happened? The wall here looks fragile. Let me break it. More news. The talented Nitahinahuna sisters are about to stage a special dance performance at the Ballet Twins. However, a series of mysterious incidents have been plaguing the towers. Multiple guests have reported hearing noises coming from the empty rooms late at night. Moreover, the dance costumes that the Neta sisters have stored in the lobby of Tower B were stolen. Fortunately, the costumes were later found on the rooftop of Tower B. However, surveillance footage from the building failed to capture any suspects. The writing on the back is severely stained and illegible. Hello. 
Interesting. Watch oh. out, everyone. The enemies are up ahead. Are they up ahead? Are they actually like home? I don't know why that gate's there, but anyways. Blinded by the light. Wrapped up like a douche in the middle of the night. Ooh, ooh. Blinded. All the music, my god. Bella Bow. <laughs> Bella Bow. I think I heard something. You did? It's a wolf man. It's those people from the atrium. Stop them. We can't let the ruin off land. Gentlemen. Please give up fighting and surrender. Take a break. That hits so many times, it's just unreasonable. Jesus Christ, why many? Why am I so quick suddenly? Is that another robot or like some kind of weird fetish? When I say fetish, I don't mean what you're thinking of a fetish. Oh no, the equipment! Forget about it! Retreat! <laughs> Feet. Oh dear. Leaving so soon, dear guests? Dude, she is so scary. I'm so god. That's such a badass shot though. Time for a nap! <laughs> nap time, nap time! Yep. Bonk. Uh, Mr. Lycon? <laughs> We've done a full sweep, but there's no sign of Miss Rain. Looks like these are just the henchmen. The hostage must be with their leader. What in the FGO magic, or magic, music, like, segue just happened? Lycon, what's It went from la da da ba da 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 Like, like what the heck? Kind of transmitter. You are correct. This is a military issue G03 multi frequency signal transmitter. It's quite powerful. I like how he's he's just got like he's got one arm in the back and one arm forward and proxy's just right there. Along with the right multimedia devices, it could even aid intelligence operatives in hacking into high level security systems. Oh, they're forcing Rain to do some hacking. Wow. I'm surprised you'd even know about this sort of thing. What kind of work do you usually do? Yeah, I was gonna say. I apologize if that surprises you. For housekeepers such as us, this is simply common knowledge. R really? Well, at least now we can confirm they kidnapped Rain for her hacking abilities. Hey, I found this with all the enemy's crap. Ma'am, you can't say crap. This is a PG stream. No, it's not. It's not for kids. Wait, isn't that the airship the court uses? Mm -hmm. Timetables, route maps. They even have hardware diagrams of the integrated control system. They were going to use Rain to hack the blimp to save Perlman? Master, there was an incoming call from Billy. Allow me to connect you. Hey, manager, is that you? We've got trouble! Things just went down big time on the airship! <gasps> they did like a sleeping gas thing and Billy can't breathe. Calm down, Billy. Because he has his abiotic uh, module installed. 
Okay. Cyberpunk so, style. Like 10 minutes ago, Perlman said he needed to check his suit, and the guards okayed it. But the moment he opened his suitcase, smoke exploded everywhere! Then everyone on the ship passed out, including the pilot! I was saved by my air intake malfunction. What? So who's flying the ship right now? It's in autopilot mode. It won't be crashing for now. But manager, I noticed something. Its scheduled route has been changed. It's flying straight toward the hollow where the ballet twins are. Won't be long now until we plunge straight in. Oh, oh shit. Manager, should I report it? Will they even believe me? Based on what Mr. Billy said, the airship route was changed a while ago, but nobody on the outside has heard about it. Oh, it's getting exciting. Looks like this is Rain's handiwork. She not only took control of the airship. Oh, I'm so excited. She must have also faked the signal to make everyone think it's still on the correct course. Hang on. What are you guys talking about? What's Rain got to do with this? Long story short, Mr. Billy, Miss Rain was abducted by a group of rebels, and they used her to control your airship. What? Wait. If it really was Rain, I don't think Clubsick can handle it. Oh, no. Is this the end? There's only one person who can handle this. There's only one person that can deal with this crisis now, and that's Rain. Yep, she's got to undo her shit. The proxy is right. But we got to save her first. Victoria Housekeeping is currently with the proxy and the ballet twins attempting to save Miss Rain. If we can save her in time, we may still be able to change the airship's final destination. Seriously? Like on manager? Do you really think so? <laughs> He's just on this planet. He's on this blimp by himself. That's so funny. Don't worry. We'll save the airship. Stay in contact, though. We might still need your help. It'd be cool if, like, we fight in the twins and we have to, like, transition over to the airship and fight with Billy. Like, as it's landing, that'd be a really cool little gameplay transition. Master, I have calculated the airship's flight trajectory. Thank you, Fairy. The airship will pass 15 meters above the ballet twins in 25 minutes before making contact with the hollow less than 30 seconds thereafter. Ooh, it's gonna swoop in. Let's hurry, everyone. Didn't expect this. Let's pick up the pace. Yep. Look, Wise, there's a key next to the enemy. I've detected a fissure to the upper level behind that door. That's our target. Key allows you to open certain spaces. You don't say. Good, good, good. Let's go, let's go. Up our floors, up our floors. We gotta save Rain, whom we've only known as a regular to the random to play the store. Let's keep going. Let's grab this key here. And we gotta make sure she comes back to return her videos on time. Oh, the dancers are here. I assume there's two of them. I knew there wouldn't be just one. Oh, it is bright now. Whoa. Access to the circuit system of the new area established. Elevator leading to the rooftop area detected. We gotta get all the way around. As we can use the elevator to close in on the enemy. Great idea. Let's circle around and ambush them. Master, I have found a torn newspaper on the ground. It read it to me, fairy. You with some clues. Of course you want to read it. I got to read it. The Ballet Brothers insist the mysterious incidents in the building are nothing more than sabotage by business rivals and that these events won't delay or cancel the upcoming dance by the Needed Needed Sisters. Uh, reports claim that the owners of the Ballet Twins, the Ballet Brothers, are currently facing significant financial strife. The two have poured money into the event and invited celebrities from various fields. This lavish event may be their last chance to attract new business partners and escape their financial woes. The text on the back is severely stained and illegible. It looks like things were going poorly, people. Sufficient gear coins paid. And this was before the hollow opened up. 
opening valve. We're in. Give me this first. During the intermission, I ran outside the green room to listen in, and they seemed to be arguing, and I could hear an old man's voice saying, Stop the show. You punks have to be joking. Just think about what day it is today and who's come to see the show. Think about yourselves again. You've already won praise and glory. Next, I promise you all your freedom. That's enough. Shut up and no more sensationalist stuff. You've signed a contract. Uh-oh. Oh, I want to open this so bad. Oh, I got two. Never mind. We're good. Give me the goods, baby. The elevator we go. Master, due to certain technical reasons, this elevator can only travel in one direction. Whoa! It was on like Donkey Kong. You cannot return once you go up. Are you certain you want to activate the elevator now? Oh. Oh, fairy. I've never been more certain of anything in my life. Start the elevator now! How long has it been? 16 minutes? I have a feeling this will be a shorter episode, but I don't know. I just don't know. Be careful. The Ethereals and Tower B are stronger than before. Step lightly, everyone. We wouldn't want to alert those militants. <sighs> oh my god. Three housekeeping ain't nothing to fuck with here. Travesty. <sighs> In position. Watch out. I found you. Time to clean the field. You should face me. Rena, the house. Clear out. Let's say this thing is beating my ass in right now. By your wheel. Here's to support. You cannot stop me. Come a little close. Thank you for your patience. Get back. Sheesh! It's like a metal like girder right there blocking that. My God! Very housekeeping jumps around like crazy. I have a feeling there was something in the previous episode we didn't get. I have located a hollow exit that leads to the There's a newspaper that gave us a code and talked about like a place. Nearby we might need to go do that again. Detected. <gasps> Biometric signature matched. Rain. We found rain, but there's enemies everywhere. Let's approach the target with caution. Uh, Rival, what's up with the lights today? Is this place haunted or something? It is now, motherfuckers. Yeah! <laughs> it's the ghost of a solid ass whooping! The enemies haven't noticed yet. Enemies! This is Alert! The Who the hell did they come from? Inform the captain now! Ugh! You won't have the chance to get your friends off. Amateurs. Ellen is fast as fuck. I don't even know how this is happening with this Naruto run. This is so the cool. Have left the rooftop and seem ready to evacuate. It appears they have gotten what they needed from Miss Rain. Get blood! Now we have to prevent them from harming her. Hmm? Are 
You can be still at your service. At your service. I found you. Suitor it Avoid it. Ellen's damage is crazy, and I'm not even playing her. Oh my god. She needs a rerun, man. I need her on the Sukaku Lycone team, and then I can have a whole Ice Victoria way. housekeeping. Oh. What's happening? Wait, Captain. Didn't the employer ask us to bring her back and find out how much she leaked? <sighs> They're already on to us. We won't get away if we're stuck carrying dead weight. We were paid to do a job. We completed our primary task. There's no point in putting our lives on the line. Cannot doubt his efficiency. We'll just say she didn't survive the ether corruption. <laughs> Sorry, but it's your own fault for knowing too much. <laughs> Drops like two feet and Rene just has her. <laughs> Autobots roll out. What? <laughs> oh no! They're taking the hostage! Oh my god. The face of fear. The face of terror. The face of me when I realize I'm late for work. Get messed up. My God. Damn it. Leave the hostage. Everyone, retreat. Should we pursue Sir Lycon? Sir Lycon? No. Saving Miss Rain and the airship is more important. Yeah, we don't need no Rain. rebels. Rain, are you okay? Don't worry, you're safe. We're friends of Nicole. We're here to save you. <laughs> Nicole, she's the one who got me into this mess in the first place. That would be funny. You're... You're really here to save me? I like her hoodie. Hey, get to the rooftop. We're running out of time. The court's airship is about to... Kaboom. Holy shit, my cunt, you're ripped as fuck, my dude. What was that? It came from above. I'm afraid this won't be easy. Reporting in, Captain. The timed explosives have detonated as planned. Hollow structural changes have been detected. The path to the rooftop is gone. Wow. Copy that. <laughs> they took the hostage back, but they can't save the airship now. Master, a significant change to the upper floors of the building has been detected. The path to the rooftop is gone. Those thugs did it. No wonder they abandoned the hostage. They were prepared for this. Mm-hmm. Fair. Search for another path immediately. Fair. Search for another path to the rooftop immediately. Master, I have located a hollow exit leading to the rooftop of the building. <laughs> it goes right through the lair of the hollow butcher, or whatever the hell that thing's name was, I don't the remember. The exit is located near Ballet Twins Tower B. Estimated travel time, seven minutes. Mm. As we have to traverse high corruption areas along the way, Possibly encountering dangerous ethereals. I cannot calculate the precise time needed. Good thing we got Don't housekeeping. Worry, Proxy. Ethereals won't stop Victoria housekeeping. I know you must be physically and mentally exhausted, Miss Rain. But we're counting on you to deal with the airship. If all we need is to break control over the airship, I can disable the jamming equipment as soon as we reach the rooftop. But I heard them say to ensure the plan went smoothly, everyone on board was knocked out. Is there anyone left to steer it out of the hollow? Just one. <laughs> uh, that's a bit of a problem. Billy is still awake, but he doesn't know how to pilot an airship. Rain being able to free the airship is already sufficient. Please leave the rest to Victoria Housekeeping. Huh? According to our intel, the airship should fly a short distance above the Ballet Twins. Since the airship lacks a pilot, I shall be the replacement. But you're down here. 
Oh my god, are we about to have like the original exit has been destroyed. They really didn't hold back. Luckily, Master Proxy has found us another way out. Dude, are we about to have like a fucking so many ethereals on the way to Tower B? Is it really okay? Please leave them to us. We'll be counting on you then. Now that I've recharged, it's time I get serious. Oh shit. Dude, we are absolutely about to have like a Final Fantasy VII Advent Children moment of like all of Victoria housekeeping chucking Lycone up onto this airship. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Try all the tools you can find. The two scenarios are automatically displayed when exploring a hollow. Oh shit. Increasing visibility will help us see the enemies earlier. So just go in a straight line with all that. Master proxy. Am I really about to dodge all of these? Oh my god! There should be an achievement for that. Damn! Open that fucking door. Oh, we're about to fight something here. 100%. I have found what seems to be a scrap of newspaper on the ground. There are some handwritten words on it. My speculation is correct. The lobby of Tower B must be nearby a spatial fissure connecting to the rooftop. Whether it's weird noises or disappearing costumes, all signs point to a hollow disaster happening in the Ballet Twins. To ensure the charity performance could be held according to schedule, the Ballet Brothers inexplicably took a desperate risk and decided to hush up everything. I just can't believe that two such good people just vanished here for good and ended up being seen as symbols of hate in urban legends. Even though their souls linger here, I trust that they'll be as elegant and beautiful as ever. The writing on the back is severely stained. They knew there was going to be a hollow disaster, but they hosted their party anyway. That's rough. That's real rough. We're here. That's the exit. Oh no. I detect epicosity. Prepare to break through. Right. Huh. Wait. Something isn't right. The music. Isn't it the same as before? It's the ethereal from the atrium. It seems our guests haven't had enough fun yet. Helen was like, whatever. Is the story actually true? We're running out of time. Rest assured, Master Proxy. For Victoria housekeeping, it's plenty of time. Your wish is our command. Angles? Stunned. Yes, Master. Ready to continue. Move. Interactivity increased. Okay, 
They're beating my ass. One's down. Enemies are looking tired already. This is getting on my nerves. I found you. I owe you. Did the other one get up? Invincible, aren't you? Thank you for your patience. Oh, switch out. Take this. Fucking criminy! Holy shit, that was epic. They did it. They left. Our mission continues. Onward. I was right. Kinda. It was like a once. Is that a whale lord? Can you hear me, wise? The airship is almost there. It's the manager. Manager, I'm over here! <laughs> Billy! Warning, the airship will reach the target location in 20 seconds. It's on. 10 seconds remaining. Hurry up! We're not gonna make it! 5, 4, Lycone at 100%. Get him up there, Billy! Dude, what was up with the moon? Did you see that? After a short while on the landing pad atop the ballet twins. Here we go! This is it! Good work. We got everyone out. Your Honor, I... I object. Oh, Nicole. How are they doing? Don't worry. It was a strong anesthetic. But they'll wake up in an hour or two. Damn. We owe you big time, Lycon. Dude, boy went full werewolf mode to get up there. Oh, you're too kind. We are honored to have worked with you, Master Proxy. Oh, yeah. It is thanks to your assistance we were able to safeguard our master's honor. 
word from public security is that the rescue squad and Air Force are on the way. Billy, we can't let Rain get taken in by public security. Her identity as a hacker is unique, and she hacked into the airship while under duress. Mm -hmm. We'll take her into the hollow and make our exit from there. You know how to deal with public security when they get here, right? I didn't inhale the gas, so I piloted the airship here for an emergency landing upon discovering what had happened. <laughs> <laughs> so scripted. Oh, right. Speaking of which, after all that's happened, can we still hold the vision trial? I didn't see Perlman. Public security will likely take Perlman back and then reopen the trial. I'll leave this to you then. We'll get going. I love how like it always has us like a fucking pet like bird on his arm. <laughs> take care, guys. He is awake. Uh, uh. Is he gonna slip out? Punishing evil and upholding justice is the mission of the cutting hair. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> I wonder what Nicole's face is gonna look like when she wakes up and finds out what happened today. Rage, anger, incarnate. Hmm? What's that sound? <laughs> Perlman totally just jacked the airship. Weren't expecting me to wake up so soon, were you? Those bastards. They pretended to agree to my demands, but they wanted me dead from the start. If I get taken back to public security, I doubt I'll even make it through the night. The way things are, I better get the heck out of New Era, New Pronto. Is this how we segue into chapter four? We're going after him outside of New Era, New? That would be cool. Otherwise, I have no idea how the hell we would do that. Like, I don't, I don't know what the reason would be for us needing to go to the outer ring. Fuck yes, dude. Dude, Ellen's crazy. Some days later. Good morning. You remember what day it is, right? Why, you're back. We agreed to meet Rain today. I remember. We agreed to meet Rain today. Rain sure is impressive. She only had it for a few days, and she already cracked it. I wonder how she's been doing lately. After getting out of the ballet twins, she stayed in a Victoria housekeeping safe house for fear of those militants. Good idea. Let's guess how she's doing later. Let's be sure to ask how she's really doing when we meet up later. <sighs> We're finally learning something about the memory unit. But Perlman managed to get away on the airship. The Vision Corporation trial had to be postponed. Oh, poor Nicole. Also, I saw an internet the buyer of the ballet twins gave up buying the building and paid a penalty. For fear of those two weird ethereals? Or perhaps because the building was almost involved in an airship hijacking? Well, all that aside, let's meet up with Rain first. Kaleda and Grace will be coming later too. Why? Holy shit, what a... Why would Kaleda and Grace be coming? Are they going to take the ballet twins for like a construction project? Oh my god, finally. You know what? I, don't, I, I was about to go off into some speculation, but I really just want to play the game and see this mission through. I want to know what this faith in main mission, what is on this fucking memory drive? What is it that faith in is after? Why are we meeting in an alley? Oh yeah, it's rain. You, yeah, you definitely look like the girl who came to the store that one time. You have such a fancy little design. Good morning, managers. You're five minutes early. So what, you just planned on standing in this alley for five minutes? You look like you're doing better, Rain. I've been laying low these days, but Victoria Housekeeping has been taking care of me. I'll be back to my normal life soon. She's very colorful, holy shit. Thank you both for saving me. I don't know how I'll ever repay you. Uh, keep coming to our store and spending money. Don't say that. It's thanks to you we saved the airship. How'd you get involved in this? But yeah. If you don't mind me asking, how did you get mixed up in all of this? Well, since it's you asking, I guess I don't have any reason to hide anything. A while ago, I was contacted by an unfamiliar client who refused to disclose the specifics of a job, but who was paying very well. I pressed them for details and they said we could meet. Yeah, I thought it was suspicious. But I was swayed by the money. Happens. So that's it. But you're amazing, Rain. 
even taken hostage, you managed to get a call for help heard from atop the ballet twins. Considering how it all turned out, it's a good thing it was discovered. Their employer wanted to know what I leaked. That's the only reason they kept me alive. So who's their employer? Oh, are we about to get a big name drop? <laughs> it's Sarah Bellum from the Powerpuff Girls. I'm not sure. They never showed up. Oh, never mind. I only got a phone call telling me about the airship. But I did overhear something. Their main reason for attacking the airship was to get rid of Pearlman. They also mentioned some sacrifice. Sacrifice? What do you think they mean? Is this going to go from like future like sci-fi apocalypse alternate dimension bullshit to like some supernatural ritualism? Sorry, that's all I know. That would be oh, wild. I've got your thing here. It's all good. Thanks so much. Don't mention it. I'm just returning the favor, so I'm not charging this time. You're going to investigate that. the memory unit next, right? Guess I'll leave you to it then. I'm sure next time I see you, it'll be as a customer at the video store. Yeah. And as a friend, of course. You're welcome at random play anytime. Khalid and the others should be arriving soon, Wise. We should be getting back. Interesting. I want to know what's on this memory unit so damn bad. Please, for the love of God. We're doing good on time for this. Oh my God. Fucking female jump scare. <laughs> I don't know what scared me quicker. Like, Kaleida's just red hair being there or Grace's, like, anomaly build. Sorry. Anyway. Hello there, proxies. Hi, it's been a while. Kaleida, Grace, you're here. Quick, come in. We retrieved the decrypted memory unit. Oh, that's right. They were in on that. I hear you tried to find someone who could crack the memory unit and got dragged into another major incident. Well, when you're the MC, it happens. I'm guessing it was Nicole who told you. It was a close call this time. Several of the cunning hairs almost met their end. Anyway, at least everyone's safe now. It feels like the city's been on edge lately, but maybe it's because I'm always thinking about that monster. <laughs> I wanted to decrypt the data on that memory unit as soon as possible. But now I'm a little nervous to find out what's on it. Don't worry, Sweet Pea. Whatever we find on it, we'll face it together. Mm -hmm. Grace is right. There, yeah, you're up. Okay, Fairy, you're up. Analyze the data on the memory unit. Yes, Master. Analyzing memory unit data. <sighs> See, this is normally where they would shoehorn you and just be like, oh, actually, I can't access it until you complete chapter four. Thanks for joining. You know, something like that. But since Coleta and Grace are here, I think they're actually going to have something. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Master, a fragment of audio data has been detected. Its last recorded system time is the day before the fall of the old capital. Audio data? Can you play it? Are you able to play the audio? Affirmative. In that case, do the honors. I'm so scared. Loading audio. Please wait. <laughs> Looks like I <laughs> underestimated. <laughs> it's my old man. Sounds like he's hurt. Calm down, Sweet Pea. This recording was years ago. <gasps> Horse is talking to someone. I told you. Pretend you know nothing. We'd all be fine. <coughs> I'm a father. <coughs> How could I let something that threatens my daughter's life go free? Oh, the feels. You idiot. I know I'm not gonna make it. Just tell me the monster in the monument. What is it? Oh, fuck. Okay. Consider it your last wish. It's called. Is that the voice of the dude who was on the phone with Sarah Bellum? A sacrifice. What did he say? 
sacrifice? Wise, did he just say sacrifice? That's what the rebels were talking about too. What's up with you two, Faithen? That name. We've heard it once today already. A reliable source informed us that the reason someone was going after the court's airship was to do away with Pearlman. And those same people mentioned the word sacrifice. What? Yeah, seriously. Wait. So Pearlman is somehow related to what we're investigating? Took the words right out of my mouth, Kaleda. So that is how we transition to chapter four. But Pearlman hasn't been heard from since he stole the airship. He's probably already run off to the Outer Ring, right? All right. We'll just have to find out what's going on over there then. I couldn't. I never expected to be investigating the same matter as our guide. Sir Lycon, they know about the sacrifice. Is it okay to let them continue their investigation? It's no issue. Master has had a change of plan and given us new instructions. Provide them assistance or guidance as needed. They're too involved to keep them out. But perhaps they can become our allies. Sunlight. Oh, what? I don't even back too far. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't think Victoria Housekeeping would be still in it. I thought they just had, like, it was every other one. Like, the cunning hairs, they came in, they were gone. They're just, like, side characters after that. Bellabug Industries, they came in, they're gone. They're just side characters after that. Victoria Housekeeping's, like, in it, in it. So the whole time, they knew everything. They were just, I mean, to be fair, they were just helping us with Rain because they were doing their master's thing, which was for the ballet twins. So we came there for Rain and just so happened to hear about the sacrifice. But what if Victoria... What if Victoria Housekeeping was there for the sacrifice and then they just so happened to hear about Rain? Rain doesn't know, so I think she's good. The monster is called a sacrifice. What in the Kingdom Hearts heartless nobody is going on here? You inspect the prototype memory unit with Kaleida and Grace to verify that no useful information remains on it. After that, you discuss your many doubts about the vision case and events from many years ago. The whole memory unit only had that on there? It's already nighttime after sending them off. Kaleida and Grace have left already, Wise. Today has been quite a shock for us. Today has been quite a shock for all of us. We all need some good rest. We should start considering our next move, too. Our next move? Let's start by recapping the information we gathered today. Turns out Kors really was murdered, and it's possible that he deliberately tricked the culprit into spilling the monster's name. Sacrifice. Now we know the monster's name, and it seems the person who tried to off Perlman is somehow mixed up in all of this. Perlman probably has some clues, exactly. Perlman must know the culprit behind all of this. He does, I think, after that one cutscene. But he's gone to the Outer Ring. Mm, it's a tricky situation. We don't have many connections in the outer ring, and public security has no jurisdiction there. Yeah, it's off the grid. We're going full fallout New Vegas. Uh, but I've heard there are a lot of outer ring traders smuggling goods into the city through the hollows every day. Well, I'll reach out to Shepard and see if he can hook us up with some jobs in the outer ring. Billy knows somebody, does he not? Maybe we'll stumble upon something useful. Okay, thanks for all your hard work, Bell. Hmm, just leave it to me. You've been working hard lately, wise. Go to bed early and get a good night's sleep. Bell leaves your room. Chapter 3, Midnight Pursuit completed. Oh, that was so good. Let's get some sleep and then we'll end the video. Our upcoming objective now clear. Let's get some rest today. My God, no, I don't care about any of that. Not surprisingly, Perlman's escape caused quite a buzz on the internet. Ask about the Outer Ring. The Outer Ring. Sacrifice. What exactly is it? You fall asleep without even realizing it, probably because you're exhausted. The Lycon agent story and the true heroes are always behind the scenes has been recorded and can be viewed in the video archive. 
The Rena agent story, Until Your Memory Fades, has been recorded and can be viewed in the video archive. Holy poop. Ma'am, who are you? Anna? Don't care right now. Old man, what's up, Jobbert? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this beautiful episode of ZZZ. I thoroughly am enjoying this game so much. I can't wait to get to chapter four. Uh, I will. I don't know what I'll do now. Either now I'll go do some Star Rail since we did chapter three, or... I don't know. A part of me really just wants to blast through ZZZ so that it's just out of the way and then just be able to focus Firestar Rail and whatever else comes our way. But because I don't think we have much left of ZZZ, right? Actually, no, that's not true. We probably do because we have what? We have the RMB undercover case, which I think is next. And then we have chapter four. So if chapter four is as long as chapter three that's going to be four whole videos plus r and b which i have no idea how long that is i'm assuming more than one video um which if it's more than that even then we're looking at potentially a week or two until i get back to star rail which um i kind of want to get back into pinacone i don't want to leave it too long because i don't want to forget the details of what happened in 2.0 when i jump into 2.1 um so that and I'll either have done a trailer video before this or after this to kind of really refresh and get the, the groove going before we get back into it. But um, I don't know. Plans. I'm thinking of things. I'm glad people are enjoying the shorts. Glad people are still on the channel. Um, lots of fun. Lots of fun things. Lots of fun things. Uh, I don't want to rant too long, though. So anyways, guys, we're out of here. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you disliked it, go ahead and dislike it. If you want to see some more, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell icon, other shameless plugs. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, criticisms, and or witticisms about the video and any of the contents in thereof, you can leave a comment. But until then, adios. Have fun all.